Hey Walking Dead fans, welcome back to the channel. I want to go over the zombie types inside Complan 8888-11, which is the zombie defense plan for the United States. But let's look at the disclaimers inside this plan real fast. The disclaimer in red says this fictitious plan was created by junior military officers undergoing training related to the Department of Defense's Joint Operational Planning and Execution System, or JOPES. The formalized process by which the department conducts all contingency planning and execution. In an effort to learn the JOPES process and to do so in a more interesting way, the students were assigned this completely fictitious scenario and directed to use JOPES to develop a written contingency plan. Using this fictitious scenario avoided concerns over the use of classified information, it resolved sensitivity to using real-world nations or scenarios, and it better engaged the students. The con plan disclaimer reads, this plan was not actually designed as a joke. During the summers of 2009 and 2010, while training augmentees from a local training squadron about the JOPP, members of a U.S. STRATCOM component found out by accident that the hyperbole involved in writing a zombie survival plan actually provided a very useful and effective training tool. So that's what it is and the disclaimers, but inside it they have a zombie threat summary. Let's look at what those zombie types are. I have done a video on this plan already. You can check it out to get some more information. I'll put the link in the description below. It says Complan 8888 is designed to address the following types of zombie threats. Pathogenic zombies. They're zombie life forms created after an organism is infected by a virus or bacteria or some other form of contagion. So if you go by Dr. Jenner and some of the thinking that we go through as fans or the characters go through on the show, you would think it's pathogenic zombies that we're dealing with in The Walking Dead, but let's read on. Radiation zombies. Their life forms created after an organism is infected by extreme dosage of electromagnetic and or particle radiation. Then there's evil magic zombies. EMZs are zombie life forms created via some form of occult experimentation in what might otherwise be referred to as evil magic. Then there's space zombies. SZs are zombie life forms originating from space or created by toxic contamination of the Earth environment via some form of extraterrestrial toxin or radiation. So according to Robert Kirkman, he's joked around with it. Yes, he joked even when he said space bores, but he's been joking about something from space like forever. And he does play off of Romero. So even though we think it's pathogenic zombies we're dealing with, we may be dealing with space zombies in The Walking Dead. But the number two under space zombies say zombie satellites. They can be classified as SZs, however, they pose no danger to humans unless they conduct an unplanned deorbit. Typically, zombie satellites only pose a threat to the SATCOM services like DirecTV and refer to Galaxy 15 incident May 2010. And so let's look at that. What was the Galaxy 15 incident? Galaxy 15 was a satellite that went rogue. They lost control of it. It didn't die necessarily. Its transponder was still going and it was moving out of orbit into the orbits of other satellites. They call it a zombie satellite because they lose control of it. It's kind of acting on its own. And if it goes into the path of some other satellites, it could actually eat their signal. I don't know all the details of that, but they call them zombie satellites. And they even have a certain path or an orbit at a certain degree that they park all of the dead satellites. All of the zombie satellites, they call them. There seem to be hundreds at this certain orbital path that they move a dead satellite to if they can and just park it there. If you want to know more about the Galaxy 15 zombie satellite, definitely Google it and check it out. There's different articles, different videos. It's kind of technical if you're into that kind of thing. There's also weaponized zombies. And this, of course, is something that we're looking into a possibility with CR or CRM. Of course, it's not biomechanical engineering and creating the zombies specifically for uh, weaponizing programs, but... That's what they mean here is that these zombies were actually weaponized zombies were bio created and engineered for the purposes of being deployed as weapons. Um, going back to the CRM, we do think that CRM used zombies as the weapon to take out campus colony initially. And then they have symbiont induced zombies. 
Their zombie life forms originating from the introduction of a symbiont life form into an otherwise healthy host. And we've seen that in some plants and animals on Earth. They even have vegetarian zombies that only eat plant life. And they base that on the popular game Plants vs. Zombies. And they say these zombies could eat all of our crops and deforest and all this kind of stuff. And we would end up dying from starvation possibly, uh, not from the zombies themselves. And last, they list chicken zombies. Yep, CZs. Although it sounds ridiculous, this is actually the only proven class of zombie that actually exists. CZs were first documented in Jonathan M. Forrester's December 2006 online article, Zombie Chickens Taking Over California. CZs occur when the old hens can no longer lay eggs and are incorrectly euthanized by poultry farmers using carbon monoxide. These hens are then deposited in large piles to decompose, and the hens appear to be dead when buried, but they come back to life and dig themselves out of the piles of dead chickens. After reaching the surface, CZs stagger about for a period of time before ultimately expiring due to internal organ failure. CZs are simply terrifying to behold and are likely to only make people become vegetarians in protest to animal cruelty. They appear to be no direct threat to humans. They are different from WZs because they are the result of actions taken to kill a living organism versus actions taken to deliberately reanimate dead organisms or impair life functions to a minimal function. They go on to list environmental effects, legal considerations, all kinds of stuff. So if you want to check out the comp plan, I will also leave a link to it down in the description below. So let me know what you think about all those zombie types down in the description below, and I'll join you there. Chicken zombies? Crazy. I know, you know, from growing up on a farm, if you chop the head off of a chicken to then clean it, to eat it, that kind of thing, it will bounce around in the yard for a long time. But the description of chicken zombies, that's just crazy. The vegetarian zombies kind of make me laugh. Be funny to see a movie on that, not based on the game. But what do you think about space zombies versus pathogenic zombies and the show The Walking Dead? Which one do you think it is? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more dead stuff.